So whenever people think about whether or not they're in a good financial place, the first thing that tends to come into people's mind, and I know it works for me as well, is how much money you're making, how many things you can buy, and whether or not you have reached your financial goals. So in today's video, I'm going to look at 10 things that show you are in a good financial place. Don't worry if you don't hit all 10 of these signs. The fact that you are doing even some of these shows that actually you are in a much better place than a lot of people who don't even consider their financial position or where they are with their finances so please make sure to stick to the end and see whether or not you can do all 10 of them and let me know in the comments below which one stood out the most to you so make sure to hit that like button if you do enjoy this video and if you are new to the channel hi i'm yvonne i'm on a personal journey to financial freedom and i really wanted to bring you along with me and create a community that shares genuine real advice that can help us all reach our financial goals so if you're interested in joining this community please make sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you can be notified every time a new video goes live. Let's just get straight into these signs. So the first one is you have a steady flow of income. You know exactly what is coming into your account. You know exactly how much you are paid, whether that be from one steady job or from several sources of income. That could be that you have multiple streams of income and they're enough to cover your expenses and to cover your daily living costs without having to rely on credit and having to worry. The second one is you track your expenses. You know exactly how much you need to pay and you know exactly where your hard earned cash is going. So this could be through a budgeting system where you have a budget spreadsheet that shows you exactly where your expenses are going. You are checking through your bank statements and finding out where all your outgoings are going to and you consistently know exactly how much is going out of your account. The third thing is you pay your bills on time with knowing what your expenses are and how much is coming out you always make sure that you are never in arrears and you pay all your bills on time this could be through a scheduled mechanism where you've actually arranged with your provider or whoever it is that you are paying out to that you pay them at a specific date and you've got that written down and you know exactly when that is going to come out or it could just be that you know all the due dates for your bills and you make sure they come out on time you avoid paying arrears or not being in a situation where you don't know whether or not you have paid that bill so you are on top of your bills <laughs> and you make sure they are being paid out at the appropriate time the next thing is that you are saving money so saving to you is just as important as tracking your expenses because you recognize the importance of having savings and you make it a priority every month or every week or however often you do it to save as much as possible this could also include automating your savings every month so that you don't have to worry about how much to save each month you have a fixed amount that you save each month and anything else above and beyond that is left at the end of the month then you can add that to your savings spots but you recognize the importance of having a savings account and continuously and consistently inputting into your savings account so that you have money stashed away for whatever you need it for. The next thing is you choose to learn about money. Now, it's always interesting that actually throughout the educational system, we don't learn as much as we should about money management or financial independence or even things like debt and budgeting. This is something that you have to learn at a later stage in life, even though it has such a high importance in everyday life. So you are taking the proactive step of making sure you are learning as much as you need to when it comes to personal finance, making sure you know how to invest, how to save, you know everything about how to pay off your debts if you have any debts and how to look after your money so that it can look after you later on. And even the fact that you are watching this shows that understanding finances and understanding financial information is super important to you. So this is already a sign that you're already in a good financial place because you are taking the time to educate yourself on everything related to finances and you are doing more than what most people are because for the most part most people don't want to even consider looking at their finances let alone learn about it another sign is you have an emergency fund now we all know that as we grow up they're always unexpected out-of-pocket expenses that always crop up let it be a car repair or a home repair or something that you didn't anticipate so you know the importance of having some money stashed aside in an emergency fund to cover these out-of-pocket expenses that you know will crop up sometime or another but you just don't know when it's also a good sign that you have an emergency fund because you realize that you have money stashed aside for these emergencies instead of relying on credit so the rule is that usually you should have at least three to six months worth of expenses 
is covered up in an emergency fund so that you can cover anything that crops up without having to worry or rely on credit. Another thing is that you are planning for retirement. For the most part, a lot of people think that retirement is later on so they don't have to worry about it till later on in life. But being in a good financial place means that you are considering what you're going to do later on in life when you retire, whether it be at 70 or whether it be at 40 or even whether it be at 35. You recognize that it is important to contribute to a pensions fund and also you are making the most of your employer's contributions because in the most part they will either match how much you are paying into a pension fund and in some instances even double the amount. So it's important to make sure that you are always planning for your retirement and you are making sure that you will have some sort of income later on in life. But another thing you can actually do to improve this position with your retirement fund is to always make sure that you have got a personal savings account for your retirement that you could be growing as you go along through passive income or through additional income that you could be making through a side hustle or anything like that. But it's always making sure that you are not just thinking about how your money is impacted in the now, but it's also about how your money is impacting you in the future and being prepared for that and making sure you are doing the most to secure a financial position later on in life that you don't have to worry about. Another sign is you do not check your balance at the last minute. So this works in hand in making sure that you are tracking your expenses and you know exactly how much money is coming out. Because if you know how much money is coming out of your account and how much your bills are paid, you will have an estimate of how much you have in your account. So to save the embarrassment of being in a supermarket and checking at the last minute whether or not you have enough funds to secure the amount you are purchasing, it's important to always make sure you are aware of how much you have at a given time in your bank accounts whether it be checking it daily or weekly or monthly but you are always aware of how much money is sitting in your account so that you can avoid any situation where you are not able to pay for anything another sign is that you can say no to something you cannot afford or do not need in the current environment that we live in through social media where it's so easy to see what other people are purchasing and what other people want it can be so easy to want the same thing but you may not necessarily need so if you have self-control to be able to say actually i don't need that i don't want that and I'm not gonna purchase it. That is a really, really good place to show that actually you are aware of your financial position and you're not willing to deter it for anything or for anything you might not necessarily need. That in the most part sits in the closet or sits in your house somewhere gathering dust and could that money could have been used for something else. So if you are able to say no to things you don't need, that is a sign that you are actually really in a good financial position and you know what you are able to afford and what you actually require and need rather than just buying things because it fits in with the culture or it fits in with the Joneses. And finally, you do not have a problem about talking about money. So many of us will hide behind the fact that we don't wanna talk about our money or our financial goals because one, we're either embarrassed by it or two, we don't know where we really are in terms of our finances. But being in a position to be able to talk about your money freely or talk about your financial goals freely is actually really liberating and it's a good sign that you're actually really financially healthy because it's not something that you're embarrassed about even if you hold debt or even if you don't hold debt whatever your situation is the fact that you can talk about money freely is actually a good sign that you're in a good financial place so those are the 10 signs that you are in a good financial place. I really hope you've enjoyed this video. Please make sure to hit that like button and to subscribe and to hit that notification bell so you can be notified every time a new video goes live. Please make sure to check out this video which will show you everything that you need around money and finances because I've done a series of videos on frugal living, money, saving, the whole lot. <laughs> and if you're interested in that, please make sure to check those out. Thank you so much for your support and until the next video, take care, bye.